Okay, Matthew, um, feed who David here, love you, give us your thoughts on it. It's hard, it's hard because I'm obviously disappointed because there's not that many occasions that you can be two on up against Linfield and so you have to then make the most of that and today we didn't, you know, but like I can't go in there and, and give off to the lads because I think they've given me everything they've got out there today and, and in a manner that I wanted them to do, I thought we played well, I thought we, we pressed them, we worked them, we put our bodies on the line but, you know, eventually they're going to have enough quality that it caused us problems, which it did. Um, you know, I can't stand in and say they didn't bombard us in the second half because that's what they did and, and they're good at it and the pressure told, I suppose, you know, towards the end and, and it looked to me like a wonder strike um, that won it for them. Pre-match, you had spoke about looking to take in the second half against Lauren into this game and the first half, Bordain came out of the blocks and really, hmm? put the, to be fair, they put up a little bit. Yeah, and, you know, it's nothing... There's no magic formula to that. It's, a, it's about playing to our strengths, what we know we can do, getting the ball, getting it in the box, get bodies in the box, get around them to stop them doing, you know, to stop them, disrupt their rhythm. Um, and, and that's what I asked and that's what we got. It just didn't, it just didn't last for the 90 minutes because like I said, they, they have a wee bit of quality. They put some subs on that um, would grace any team in the league. And, and when that happens, it's just, a, it's just a case of hoping that the boys can keep doing what they've done, but eventually, you know, it, the pressure paid off. Um, Crossway got a goal, he mm. pushed the ball in the box, but the, the, the second goal, the lead bonus goal, was the build up play was fantastic and the finishes. Yeah, no, it was super because it's something we've been talking about and I don't think we've done it enough. When we've had set pieces or possession in the final third, I don't think we've kept it in there enough and recycled and got the ball back wide um, to put a cross in, and I thought we did that. And I thought we did it well all day today. Um, and, and Stephen put a great ball in. and and Lee does what Lee does, you know, I thought Lee was superb, I think Paul Finnegan got man of the match, but for me Lee bonus, both boxes, his work rate, his energy, um, different class, and, and I was, look, <laughs> being beat 3-2, I can't, like, we've, we've won, and I'd be as happy as what I am now, because they've went out and they've given me everything they've got, and some weeks that's not going to be enough in this league, unfortunately, because teams are, they're better than us, you know, that is the bare fact of it, but what we have to do is make sure we're competitive against them teams. Yeah. Um, 3-2 defeat last week, 3-2 defeat this week. There's goals, it's going to be entertainment in this team as well. They're going to give it them their all. Uh, is that PC or do you rather have copy one it, Well, yeah, of course I'd love that, but sometimes I've got to put the fact on that we've we have to if we're going to score we're going to leave ourselves exposed. Look, there was times last year where I felt we were really solid defensively but we still got beat. So uh, no, we've got to wait up. Could we, do we just sit back and hope that they don't do it? If, like, and we didn't intend to sit back in the second half. The, the constant pressure is going to come, so we may as well go and have a go. Um, and if that comes, you know, obviously we don't want to be losing three to. These things are going to happen. If I'm saying I want our front four to go and play, you know, I'm pretty much backing our front four against their front four. Some weeks it'll work, and some weeks it won't. Everything else in between has to knit it together and hope that our goalkeeper has a blinder and our defenders play well. How much did the injuries of midfield impact the, the, the game? There was just two players yeah. had to come out of it. You know, it's a disruption that you don't want at that stage of the game. Um, but we knew, you know, Sam had been obviously out for a while and Sammy took a dead calf in training the other day. So it was always a case of probably if we could get 70, 75 minutes out of them and, and see where it took them. And then it's up to the subs to go on and show the same work rate and intensity um, that the other boys have been doing. Um, yeah, I suppose it, it's not ideal, but it's something you have to take on the chin, and then it's up to them subs to come on and, and influence the game. Um, Tuesday night, Newington here yeah. in the in the Batman League Cup. How do you approach that? Similar to Melster, or sort no? Of, yeah. It'll be completely different. It'll be as best as close, you know, bad injuries as strong as team we can get out on the pitch because it's a cup competition, you know, at senior level um, that we want to do well in. Um, I don't know how many rounds it is. I think three, maybe, to the final. Um, we'll be going. Uh, like I say, as strong as we can, and it's a, you know we're at home, and I think the last two weeks have shown if we're at home against anybody in a cup competition, I don't know if they would fancy coming here, and we have to make it like that. And whilst we've we've one point from three games here, I think there's been enough hope. In, well, in four games, three home games, and the four in total, that we've got something. You know, a break of the ball, or, you know, maybe a penalty in our favour once or twice might help, um, and it could see us over the line. Yeah, good man, thank you. Cheers, thank you.